So, uh, calculation. Uh, sorry, excuse me. Uh, input data, setting, calculation, and then here we go to short torque and block. And you will see uh, the, the curve start uh, being generated from 40 Newton meter and as the speed goes up the requested torque goes down. Please also note in, the, in this example we're calculating the E NVH response response as a constant torque level uh, as the motor uh, speed increases and, and you will see that when I'll be adding uh, points here uh, the uh, even e electric uh, NVH excitation are calculated by this software using the electromagnetic finite element model at a relatively small number of operation speed defined by, by the user so we will do that in a minute and we'll add uh, some uh, speeds over here and, be, and uh, between these points the uh, excitation are interpolated by the software and applied to an electric stator response model to give the NVH uh, response as a large number of operating speed. So I'll, I'll pause the video and I'll show you when this is completed. It's completed, now we add points here. Uh, for the first one we choose, for this example, choose 12. And again, 12 and here we put um, for instance uh, 20, which is very low. On the next one we put 12 and we put 200 which is like the operating one operating rpm and here we put 500 which is uh, a big point uh, and then also we choose 100 uh, the reason we do this is because this combination will give a reasonable balance between you know the time required to run the model and accuracy of the calculated uh, e and vh excitation if you like you can add more points here and uh, have a more accurate result but it takes uh, longer time so for uh, now that we put this we're going to uh, validate the torque points so as you can see uh, they are um, calculated and next we're going to generate the force data As you can see, you know, the points are down here, 2 of, two of 4 or 3 of 4. This uh, usually takes a few minutes and uh, I'll pause the video in between and show you a couple of snapshots uh, so you can see wh what's happening. And uh, please pay attention to these uh, changes down here. As you can see, it says a started force uh, calculation on the message display. And now it went to next message, completing uh, storing force state. Okay, now it's it's completed, and uh, we can go and look at the result. First, let's check the NVH tab. And we, uh, you can see we have the lump stiffness, the lump mass, and the uh, natural uh, frequency. Uh, if you're not familiar with mode, let me show you this uh, slide. Uh, this shows like mod mode 0 to mode 8. As you can see, the vibration uh, changes. And uh, mode 1 is the breathing mode. It's called breathing mode. 
it's where the stator vibrates by increasing and decreasing its overall uh, diameter as you can see it's going out like this this is the normal one and it's going out and motor is normally the lowest frequency mode and it's vibration mode where the stator ovalized as you can see and here you can see other shapes that are created so here we can see the stiffness uh, lump mass and natural frequency and, and different modes and as you can see for instance on the lump mass for uh, to get the, to excite the higher mode you need much more mass for instance 8 compared to 2 is uh, much higher you can see it's uh, 67 uh, sorry, uh, uh, sorry, 55 on mode 8 compared to 18 on uh, mode 2 I'll explain uh, more details and more outputs in the, in the next uh, video uh, th thanks for your time I hope you liked this video and as I said this is Daniel Smiley on behalf of uh, Ozen Engineering Corporation. We have uh, offices uh, in many states uh, in the US. Please feel free to uh, contact us. You can reach us via phone, email, uh, or go to our website. And uh, you can, you're more than welcome to also visit our offices. Thank you. Have a great day.